is up guys a review on a bit of an older device but the reason I want to do this review is for the simple reason is two views to this uh, I want to tell you what I think of it because I disagree with some other people out there personal opinion yes I know Pro Mech 2 kit from Vigod uh, I love the packing on this by the way you've got bonus points there but what we're going to do we're going to bounce down we're going to take a look at that packing a look at this mod give you a quick show around it, have a look at the switch and so on, and then we're gonna pop back up and I'll tell you my thoughts. See you in a bit. Right then guys, so as I said, today we're looking at the VGOD Promic 2 kit. A uh, load of different info on the side, uh, some specs, so your build deck, all that type of stuff, some nice photo work on the back, uh, gives you a bit more information about the Tricon switch, uh, gives you a bit of a look at what you're getting on the side, on the bottom some uh, relevant information including your scratch and sniff authenticity and on the top some V got a logo in so we will rip that open and drop that down there inside you're going to get just a standard black box with some V God signage nothing major V God trick life that's the same as what you saw on the box so let's open this one up and this is the bit I like about this you get a stunning very nice little flight case uh, <clears throat> VGOD logo on the top, VGOD logo on the front, nothing else all round. Let's open this up. And these will come in two little bags by the way. You get a little screwdriver, which is there, and a bag of spares, which contains some O-rings, which has just burst open on me, great. And a spare spring. Now, as I said in the uh, intro bit to this, this is an older mod, just want to give you my views. You will get your tube and your RDA. So, quick run down of the tube, unscrew the switch. I'm not going to take the switch apart on this for the simple reason is there's no need. Uh, screw in there, you space out for your various batteries, push the button, push it up to create contact, as you can see right there. Uh, nice carbon on the bottom. Sleeves come off, uh, yeah that one's a bit wedged on but sleeves do definitely come off on this which will leave you with a black tube like so. Some nice little goldage writing on the top there, crikey that is really tight. So let's pop that back on, we'll pop the switch back in and then we will get the RDA and I'll give you a bit of a tour around that. So nice, it does look the piece to be honest with you, it does look very very impressive. So as you can see, fracking juice absolutely everywhere. So yes there's a build in this. So you're looking a two post screw down deck uh, two air intakes which come through the side vertically and hit the bottom end of the coil uh, what can I say <laughs> what can I say uh, very very well made I will give them that uh, very well made uh, wider than hooker's vag and then we'll just take a quick look on the bottom as you can see absolutely soaking bloody wet and there we go so I'm gonna pack that away and I will see you guys up top catch you in a minute so back up on top with the VGOD Promec 2 kit Oh, man this fucking annoys me right VGOD are very well known for making decent mods 
Uh, if you do this, if you got one of these and do this, right? That part's really good. That part's amazing, especially the switch. That's shit. So it's one of them 50 50 reviews. If we're going off the manufacturing side of the mod, the quality and that kind of thing, then yeah, this is great. I even put a special V God top on for this. Uh, but I mean, I mean, look at it. I even vaped on this. I don't even vape it through the review, and I look like I've hand fed a fucking dog de Bordeaux, man. It's it's everywhere, and it's how like it's been over dripped. It, it's a fucking nightmare, man. Uh, right, let's just break it down. Packing ten out of ten. Tube itself ten out of ten. RDA, you'll get a three. Uh, for the simple reason, is vapor production is good, so that's one. Flavor is good, so that's one. It looks good, so that's one. It fucking pours out from everywhere. I mean, literally, it's even seeping out the top there. How the fuck did they manage to do that? But anyway, yeah. Uh, the coil placement is a bad idea. Putting coils straight above your air holes, which are going to come out right by where your hand sits, is a fucking dumb idea. Proper dumb. Uh, yeah. I love mech mods, it's what I do, it's 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 how I vape. But I don't want a mech mod where I've got to carry around a fucking tea towel all day. You know what I mean? And it's a shame because they are a good company, but what the fuck have you done with that? That's ridiculous. Uh, and again, I know it's an old review, but I wanted to put my points across because I've seen quite a few reviews about this and quite a few of them are like, yeah, it's fucking amazing, it's the next best thing. It fucking isn't. And for the price, the, these retail that when they come out, there was better met mods on the market. Even Geek Ray had a met mod out, which was the Tsunami. That was better than this and half the fucking price. It's a shame. I really wanted to love it. Uh, the reason I haven't done this review before now is because... When I first had this mod, I wasn't a reviewer. This mod was sent to me, not for the purpose of review. A few of you know the story, I'm not gonna delve into it, uh, as it's old news. Uh, not quite sure what happened, I don't think I ever will know the truth, but this, right now, will be the last time you ever see V-God on any of my channels. Is what it is. You may see it on a t-shirt once in a while, that's because I've done about five reviews today and they'll be scattered over the next couple of weeks. But that will be the last time you will ever see a Vigo product on this channel. That simple. Uh, they know why, I know why, anyone who follows my other social media, they all know why. Uh, but I didn't want to put this review up before now because I wasn't so much a reviewer. I was more of an unboxer and photographer. But now I'm a reviewer, I believe that's one which I wanted to review and I wanted to give my fair opinion on. Uh, one thing I will say before anyone starts any games. YouTube and VapeTube are a platform for people to express their own rights, their own opinions and their, their own views. Uh, Vigod or any other company will have no rights over this video. I'm not sponsored by them. That wasn't sent by them. Uh, they have no rights over this video. So no one can remove this video. No one can claim copyright for this video. Uh, I'll just leave that one there because you all know what happened. Uh, you all saw the story. Yeah, so uh, don't even attempt to take this one down because it'll be pointless, absolutely pointless. Uh, whether you're watching on YouTube or VapeTube, these are both platforms for vapors. Uh, VapeTube is a platform for vapors only, but YouTube is a platform where content can be shared and this will have absolutely fuck all to do with VGOD. Uh, as I said, it's a shame. It's a shame because VGOD are known for good quality products. And one thing I will say, even though everyone knows my stand on VGOD, they have made some amazing mods. Uh, the rest of their mods, which I don't own anymore, uh, those all passed on uh, two years ago in May. But uh, 
yeah, some of their products are really good. I'm not gonna lie, uh, they have come out with quite a few mods which have been really, really good. That one, crock of shit. As, well, it takes so much crock of shit. I mean, it's bearable, but it's just that leaking. It's that leaking. As I said if they could solve that leaking issue, uh, where your hand ain't gonna be soaked, that would be in my top ten mech mods because it is. It's it's a good mod. The tube especially and that switch. That switch is a really good idea. Uh, three point contact well four point contact so a lot less arcing you're going to have a lot less damage to your batteries but yeah anyway and before anyone says anything every single met mod arcs so that's not a fault on the met mod at all but yeah what can I say it is what it is uh, I've done what I've done that's my review done uh, as I said absolute shame but would I buy one if they sorted out that issue with the leaky dog debugged hand then yeah because I mean the the wide the wide top I really like the actual tube I really like I even like the RDA if it was set out a bit better but anyway other than that I will catch you on the next one please follow uh, Facebook Twitter Instagram VapeTube and YouTube thank you for your support thank you for continually watching uh, I am very very grateful and hopefully I'll catch you again soon with another review. See you later.